Hello, my name is Gayla Gautier, and I want to talk to you about the process of layering with waves of color. It's a speed painting, so this will be more visual rather than how to. And I have already sketched two heads out in pencil, so this is what you see right here. I'm working with photocopies of the sketch to get them to fit inside the square. Um, this is a quick process when you use photocopies. But I will then transfer the good choice onto the canvas acrylic paper with the morning sunshine coming through my window as a light box, since I don't have a light box. And here we begin, putting waves and waves of color on the canvas paper. That's how I work. I just layer and layer and layer of uh, gesso and acrylic paints. This process takes about two weeks because you have to let stuff dry. Um, it's not a complicated process, it's just filling in the lines. But you need that texture. And I found in all the paintings I've done, when you layer again and again and again, you get these brush strokes that crosshatch each other. And they're very interesting when you, the finished piece, when you start really putting in your detail. Now here you see me um, blocking out the face with a ruler. <laughs> and I use a, like a watercolor pencil that's yellow to put the marks in so you don't see see it too much and then it'll when I use uh, the water and the, the acrylic it uh, gets rid of it I crack this is the part where I start using cracking techniques to crack the paint on his shirt now I'm working on hers there goes the yellow pencil uh, blocking see there you see real good now and as I'm using the water, you see the watercolor pencil just kind of mixes in with the reds and the pinks that I'm using for her face. And you see from the photograph that I have on the side there, you can see how I blocked the photograph out in a green. So I'm, it's, because the photograph was so small, I didn't have very good detail. So I really had to go back to ABCs on blocking techniques to get to draw these two people. Now I'm starting to really focus on detail. Layers of hair. I'm working on uh, filling in the highlights of the hair the way I do it. <laughs> working on the background. Oh, the teeth. It's really hard to do paint teeth. I don't know if anyone knows that or not. <laughs> okay, now I'm just doing the highlights, making this painting really pop now. I got the idea of using the word waves of color from a documentary, The Secret Life of Waves, that was posted on my Facebook from an artist named Gwen Seamel. She's an artist worth looking up and doing some research on. It's uh, her paintings are absolutely mesmerizing, and it's not, that's not why I follow her in her media feed, but it's um, about her journey and how she's talking about how it, she became an artist and, and um, her, her dramas with the uh, copyright laws, which is very interesting to, uh, to learn. I'll put links below if you're interested in seeing and finding out who she is. Uh, if anyone has any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to voice your opinion. <laughs> Be kind. Thank you very much.